guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Priyash and make videos on lifestyle home and DIY project every single week this is a channel where I teach you about self-reliance self-dependence and self-efficiency and welcome back to my channel I know the last video has been gone crazy so many of you have given their feedbacks opinion and and so many of you have liked this I really appreciate it and um, I really thought that I should push myself more forward and making videos like this and um, yeah so for this project we're gonna be focusing more into some home DIYs these are some kind of like easy DIYs that you can do that does not require much materials and they are like really like fast and quick and easy I would rather say and, um, nice yeah time? that's pretty much it so without further ado let's jump into the first project so hello from the voiceover for this project you're gonna be needing a jar or a tumbler like this one and some 3d liner I got the neon shade one and I hand drawn these Aztec symbols like sun, waves and a human figurine I guess and then I used washi tape to make sure that I do it on straight and then I used the permanent marker to draw on the symbols that I selected. If you come up with any mistake like I did, you can simply just rub up with your finger. It's super easy and work again. So this is how it's looking right now. Now we're gonna fill them up by slowly pouring and filling them with the 3d liners that we have this 3d liner can be used in wood glass fabric and metals and so on we're gonna let it dry after some time and 24 hours later it's gonna be looking something like this you can totes leave it like this if you want if you are going for like hashtag neon team type of color but that's not my thing so I decided to spray paint I gave it nice two three coats so that I could go over every crooks and cranny and I have more of smooth finish and voila So for this next project we're gonna be creating a macrame coaster for that you're gonna be needing five two feet long strand that we're gonna be calling as working strands and five feet long strand that we're gonna be called as base code and I also got this embroidery flosses in a fall steam car look how good they look initially I was going for this color palette and then I added this brick red color and it just fit the color scheme that I really want to go but are you in or you out? so now you're gonna take your five feet long strand that is your base code and loop it around like that and now you're gonna take your two feet long strands that are your working strands fold them in half and attach them using the locks head knot method and now you're gonna take the longest end of your base code and pull it to create a circle so that your coaster would have a radial look now you're gonna take your base code place it above the 
walking strand and by using the double half fish knot method you're gonna create a spiral kind of look for more details check out my previous project where i taught you about all this knot which i'm gonna be linking them in my play up right here start to feel some tension while walking you can always add extra strand using the lux head knot method you can add as many as you want and as less you want Once you do that, you're gonna repeat as usual. I want to create something a speckled kind of look, so I place my pins where I want the speckles to be, and then I use the embroidered floss that I used right there. All you gotta do is take your embroidery floss, wrap it around your working strand for several times until you got your desired length. And once you're happy with it, all you gotta do is tie the knot and snip off the excess. And after that, all you got to do is repeat and make sure that your speckle always come on top. I keep doing this and then I realized I was running short on my strands because I was using the scrap from my previous project. And once you're finished with your desired length, all you got to do is tie up the base cord to make sure it has extra security and then snip off every access and once you do that unravel every braided cords so you can fray them here i'm using a pet brush you can also use a comb or any brush to fray the end it's about your personal preference and what you have and once you do that chop chop you have something like this So for the next project, we're going to be creating a trinket dish that I want to do for a long, long time. For that, you're going to be needing a cardboard. And then I created this pattern. And in this pattern, I make sure my trinket dish to be six and a half inch long and three inches wide. And I also added one inch flap on each side. And then I marked off the edges, which I do not want. And this is how it's looking right now. Now I'm gonna do is make sure to create grooves for each of those black lines so I can actually fold them up to create the lip for the trinket dish. So here how it is looking right now. I also cut off this extra part that I do not want and i figured out the reason why i did that later on and i'm gonna show in in the next clip <music> and
and this is how it's looking right now when I taped off making sure I create a little angle for the lid and right now I'm gonna show you why I created those slits to overlap like them to create a nice frame and structure for it and once you are happy with your structure you can simply go and cover up it with newspaper with a mixture of school glue and some water you have done with it you're gonna let it dry and then I painted it white and I also added some extra color like this aquamarine blue this black one and also this pearl metallic gold color I wanted to do this evil eye thingamajig which is so on trendy right now and um, now if I ask who has seen my case the trinket would say that I have seen your kiss because I have so many eyes and yes guys that was a pretty bad PG but I apologize to you. I wanted to create a dimension that is why I chose this pearl metallic gold color and I'm gonna use it to create an outline in the inner groove and I'm also gonna paint the upper lip of this trinket dish and once you do that you're gonna let it dry and voila you have your very own trinket dish. <music> so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you like this video and if you like it don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also comment down below which project was your favorite or what you wanted to see me doing next just give your opinion and i'm open to criticism as i said and also do subscribe my channel help me to grow it's just my small starter that i'm thinking i would put myself more into it i'm also a bit delay in this process but i'll try to make it up and sorry for every kind of nervous speech that i have ever given till right now it's really hard for me to speak on the camera because i haven't done this but i'm really trying to do it so yeah with your subscribe it would help me so yeah do subscribe my channel and also put on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever i post new videos until then stay inspired stay creative and spread love and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye